Oh, hey, what are you doing in my bag? Actually, I know why you're in there. You want to see what's in my bag. You know what? Let's do something more fun. Let's go see what's in someone else's bag. Another professional's bag. Let's go to the Sycamore studio. Come on. Hey, Steve. What are you up to? Can I uh, look through your bag? Yeah. Come on in. I thought it would be boring to look through my bag at my house, so I figured I'd come to your professional studio and see mm. what a professional filmmaker has in his bag. Well, I learned a lot from you, so it'll probably be a little similar. <laughs> but All right, well then, let's do this. Uh, we have a cool camera up top. <laughs> and then we got Mia down here. All right, Steve. All right. Let's start with the top here. Tell me about what you, like, what do you got going on up All right. top? We got the clear camera essentials lid kind of organizer. I have AA and AAA batteries for like my lab mics, my audio recorders. I have a place where I just throw dead batteries, so a dead battery graveyard, and a bunch of a clear plastic poncho, because you never know when you need it for rain. I got some miscellaneous audio cables, my lav kit up in here, um, some can or Canon uh, LP6 batteries. This is the pocket with all my adapters, so RF to EF adapters power for the lights, and then an empty pocket right now. So. Ooh, I like empty pocket. I know, right? What do you think you're gonna put in that pocket? I know, I need to go buy something, so. <laughs> All right, I wanna see what cameras you're rolling. Like, that's like right. the meat of a, of a bag. What are you rolling? Yep. So, first big camera that we roll with is the Canon C70. So, roll great, with this great guy. Great choice, great choice. Uh, usually just running kind of handheld with this kind of set up for a lot of commercial and uh, sometimes wedding shoots. Uh, balances out well. I pair this with the 28 to 70 F2 from Canon. Uh, that's an awesome combination. Uh, I keep some spare batteries in here for that guy, but that's my main workhorse camera. Uh, then we got our second camera. My other workhorse camera is the Canon R5. So typically I'll put this on my gimbal I'm still going with the old school Ronin S. Look at that. That is old. Um, vintage. But uh, vintage. I'll put the 24 to 70 to 8 on here. Um, gives me the flexibility to run around. Um, I can use one of these adapters with a variable ND. So I still have ND even though I'm shooting mirrorless camera. The third camera we would go to every wedding with R6. Uh, great for stills. Great for video kind of just our backup camera, um, keeping it consistent, shooting C-Log 3, cinema, gamut for everything. Got a couple of the Rode microphones that we put on camera, C70 and R5. Uh, and then also, let's look at these things. Lenses, 2470. Yeah, lenses, let's see. What, what are you running, what are you running lenses? 2470 is usually living on the R5. 16 to 35, if we're in like one of those tight spaces or I need to get like an establishing shot uh, of a grand space, room shots. Finally, um, 24-105, uh, keep that in the case, just in case I need to throw it on the back camera, R6 or something. Kind of just that safe camera in back. And then inside here, a uh, old EF7200, 2.8. Nice. For those Catholic ceremonies or where you need the extra reach. You need the long lens. Yeah, and then, in the shoulder bag, this is where the good stuff lives. We got the RF 7200 2.8, incredible lens, so small, lightweight. We've got the 28 to 70 Beast. That's a F2. thick boy. It is thick. This thing's heavy. It's been dropped once. It's not cheap. And then we got the Canon 100 Macro. Use this for details, uh, some getting ready stuff. Looks really good. Shooting stuff close up. So those are all the lenses that I take, typically. That's a good lens setup, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Well, roll me through, roll me through your, li your audio. Audio, right. then we'll do that. Audio lighting. setup. So, first thing to do with audio is gonna be my basic audio recorder. And even though this is gonna be changing pretty soon, probably to like a Zoom F3, uh, I roll it with the Tascam DR60, I think, uh, Mark II. 
Um, put this little USB battery bank on it so I can run it off of there. Never have to worry about the batteries dying. We keep all of our XLR cables, quarter inch, RCA, you name it, headphones on this little pouch. So all I gotta do is grab those two things, go tap into the DJ. Then the big things I use for audio are gonna be the Zoom F2. Look at this nest coming out. <laughs> but the Zoom F2 BT. So uh, I have one paired with a really nice Sennheiser mic. Um, records 32-bit float. These things are awesome. Just put them on, forget them. On uh, Fishients, grooms, they're super small. So I have about three of those that we carry. And then my favorite kind of go-to sneaky lens lately, I've got a couple of these Sony, little Sonys. Um, these guys are able to- Those are the most sneaky. Uh, just slip those. into a pocket of a groom or father of the bride. And then this one actually comes with a little fun strap that lets you put this around the DJ's microphone. And so all you have to do is start recording, put this right on the handheld mic, and then everybody's gonna have great audio because it's gonna be a few inches from their mouth and it's set it and forget it. So those it. are my big audio tools right now. We still have the AVX kit, Sennheiser AVX kit if I want to go wireless and put my uh, put audio right into the C70. Um, I have that archive. kit. It's a clean kit. It is super That's clean. what these YouTube videos get used for. <laughs> exactly. And you never have to worry about like interference or anything. It's, it's a solid wireless kit. Um, and then, yeah, that's all the audio stuff. Well, last up then is, 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 is lighting. Lighting Lighting's the most important thing. So first we got two Nanlite Forza 60Bs in here. Um, roll with these guys, run them off of these little tiny V-mount batteries. So pair them with this Fresnel lens. Gives me a nice little spotlight for dances, for toasts. Everything folds up super tight into this case. And we can control it all with this handy little remote. So I just roll around, point it, make it brighter, make it less bright, turn it on and off. Um, so we're not blinding anybody at dinner time, but that lighting setup is definitely the way to go for a ceremony or for a toast. Honestly, you could do it for a ceremony. I would if it was dark, but. Dude, this is such a sick setup. So. Oh, and, and one more thing. Well, last thing. Cause look at what you can fit in this case. I also typically carry two tripods. I use the Peak Design. Look at that. There's tripod. tripods in there. I would never so know. We can actually roll with tripods right in the case and here, swing around, swing around. Let's check this out. We even have this cheese plate with a V-mount and we can clip our light stand right to the outside. So we can just take one case, tripods, light stand, everything ready to go. So that's what's in my bag. Wow, well that is an amazing bag. I love it. Tell me real quick where we're at. What is this place? All right, this is our studio, the Sycamore studio. We got a huge psych wall, 3,600 square feet. We got a bunch of sets back there, crews messing with one. Uh, you can come rent us. We're up in Dublin. It's for rent for photographers, videographers, filmmakers, just content creators. So come check out the space. We also have memberships. You can get office space up front, but it's a fun place to hang out and create. I so. love it. I love it, Steve. All right. Give me one piece of advice for any filmmaker out there that is having trouble getting their bag set up straight. Oh, I would say, First thing, like just figure out what you need and what you don't need. Because we have a lot of stuff as filmmakers that we don't need. Keep it to the essentials and just find a way to organize it so it's easily accessible. I mean, these Pelican Trek packs, they're pretty great, but you don't have to go that expensive. You can just use some cheaper dividers, but throw out the stuff that you don't use that often because you really won't use it. Awesome, dude. <sighs> wow, Steve has an incredibly organized box full of camera gear. Oh, what an honor to check out his stuff. I'm telling you, you just, you gotta, it takes so much time to figure out what you wanna put in your camera bag. And it takes years to get it to the point where Steve's at. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked watching that. I love watching what's in my bag videos. I promise you, I'll do a what's in my bag video eventually, but I really wanted to switch it up and do someone else's bag first. So. 
Listen, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel. If you haven't liked this video, it helps me out a lot. If you like dads who are filmmakers, like games and love technology, this is the place to be. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you wanna see next. I have ideas, but I really, really wanna make videos that you all like to watch. So let me know. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Peace.